How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And today I'm going to teach you guys step-by-step -step guide with that you will be able to learn how to add birthday on calendar. Not only that, it will remind you exactly one week or even one hour ago before the birthday actually happened to the person. Okay, so there's a quite a lot of ways that you guys can use to add the birthday on the calendar. The best way to do it, you actually need to open up the you know, contact on your iPhone. So let's just open up the contact here and let's go to all the contact list. First, I will recommend you guys to find out the person that you want to set the birthday with. So I'll select Jack Murphy, for example, and I'll have to tap in it. And if I scroll down here, you can see there's a section called birthday. So first, you actually need to set the birthday here. Okay, so let's just um, you know add a random birthday. So I'll choose that and I'll tap done. Okay, so you'll see now the birthday is actually been added to the contact. So if you tap here, it will redirect you to the calendar and it shows you the birthday right here. Now, if that doesn't show you the birthday, then you actually have to tap the calendar at the bottom and you have to select the birthday from here and select done. Well, now there are a few things that you really have to do in order to set the birthday perfectly. The next thing that you need to do here, you have to head over to settings and you have to scroll down here, tap notification, scroll down to the calendar and make sure you're enabling all the option here. And now you want to go back, you want to go back again, scroll down to app and find out the calendar here. So find out the calendar, select that. And here, all you guys really, really have to do here, if you come over here, you will be able to see an option called default alert times. That means you want to tell your iPhone when you want to be reminded the you know before the actual birth the time so you can select that and here it says one day of event one day before two days in one week so one day of event is the best time to select the birthday especially you want to know one day before you start to wish to your friends or family or whatever the person you might want to set the birthday off so and then just go back here and uh, select events you can also um you can actually set 10 minutes before one hour if you want to set the event time and you can also select all the events so after that if you guys really leave it as it is i can tell you guys what's gonna happen your birthday is gonna be set it so let me just give you an example how it actually works so i'll open up the calendar here say so if i actually uh let's say i want to pull back to my date and time here so the birthday was actually eight so if I go back here, we can see there's a two dot here. That means there's something is coming up. So if I tap here, they can see there's a two. This is Marm. It's actually a day, but right next to it, you guys can see there's a birthday for this contact. So this is how you guys can literally say the birthday right on your calendar using your iPhone with iOS 18. So if you guys have any more questions to ask, please let me know.